Hey guys, Adam Fennig here with Fennig Equipment. You're tuned into the Talking Shed. Hey, today we're going to go over this John Deere 1770. This is our one of our last planters of the 2024 season. Uh, we did some bandits for two by two. We did some red balls, uh, an Ag Leader in Command 1200, and we added these wing tanks. So let's turn this thing around and talk about what all we did. So of course he already had that big tank. It was ran with a John Blue ground driven pump back there. And he was putting out product through these John Deere single disc openers. He had us add a product with these wing tanks. You can see they fit on there real nice below the markers. These are 200 gallon tanks. So we're just above the air tube, below the markers, fit in there like a glove. But what he's doing is he's gonna variable rate phosphorus through these John Deere single disc openers. You can see we've got our SurePoint metering tubes there to accurately meter, but also to be able to have a window. These metering tubes allow us to have larger windows of variation than the flat orifices. And because he's doing variable rate, we need that window. He's banding the phosphorus below the soil with these John Deere single disc openers. And then he's putting a product out back here with the 360 bandits as well. Those are running with the uh, Y splitter and we've got our orifices housed right up in here. And you can see we've got the, the bandits mounted right there with the spring adjust on those. So basically we also added the hydraulic pump, we've got the Ag Leader modules and then the two sets of red balls. So up top is one product. That's the one he's variable rating. So he's got three sections across there, five, six, five, and then a single product for the bandits. That's on the John Blue uh, ground driven pump. So real nice tree um, that we made there and mounted to this main tongue. So whenever this planter is unfolded, that tree is going to sit right up here in front of the tractor. So he'll have a front row seat to everything that's going on uh, back here. He'll be able to see all the red balls, all the gauges, and uh, it mounted up here real nice and clean. We've got a PWM on this hydraulic pump so we can quickly change rates. This thing turned out really nice. So we got our three section boom valves mounted on the back of this tree. There's our three section valves. Each one goes up to a different section up top on those red balls. And we plumbed our air line back in through this tank. So that's what we're doing today, putting the finishing touches. Now we're gonna jump up in the cab. So up here in the cab, uh, the customer wanted to run this variable rate phosphorus with an Ag Leader 1200. He currently has a John Deere 2630 up here that's gonna be controlling the planner. Um, but he wanted, uh, <clears throat> he wanted an Ag Leader in command 1200. He's gonna be getting a tile plow sometime and so this would be handy there. Um, so he wanted something that could be extremely versatile, which, you know, we can do tillage, planting, application, harvest, really, you name it, you can do it with this Ag Leader 1200. So we're doing application. We've got a swath control module and an L2 direct command module. And, uh, we're basically running this thing, uh, today with, you know, we've got a master switch here running three sections. But how we're doing it, I'll get this screen loaded up here, is we've got your master switch, but we've got a whisker switch as well mounted back there on the planter. So he'll leave this switch up all the time, and then when he raises and lowers, that'll cut off that back there. This will paint a map, show him his speed, show him his acres, his target rate, his actual rate, and they're gonna load subscriptions into here. So it'll be pretty sweet. And uh, that's what we're doing today. You can see from the cab, of course, there's the red balls. And when the planter is unfolded, that'll sit up here a lot closer. So nice view from the cab, nice big display screen to do your mapping. This'll run the tractor, we'll be good to go. Thanks for tuning in.